Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to start from where we left off previously. So if I just move down the design, previously we created this outside border and then we also created the white content box in the middle. The next portion we're going to create today, we're going to create this footer. So we're going to create this footer here, we're going to create this nice uh, one pixel line on the top uh, and we're going to create a darker wood effect on the bottom here. So what we're going to do, if we go over to Visual Web Developer and we'll start to create some divs for the footer. So if we just move down the document to the very bottom, we're going to want to create the footer on the outside of the page wrap. Uh, because the page wrap is centering the main content and if you the, the footer needs to stretch across the whole screen 100%. So down here, we're going to create the following. So we're going to say div ID, and we're going to call this footer wrap. And we'll close off as usual and create our comment. So footer wrap. So create some space in between that. We just indent it so we can read it a little nicer. So like I said, so we need to style the footer wrapper. So we'll copy that text and come over to our style sheet. So then just below the main content, we're going to create a footer wrap. So for this, we're going to say the width is going to be 100%. The height for now, we'll just say 300 pixels so we can see it taking shape. So if we just go back to the master page and go to the design. So as you can see now, we've got the box for our footer, but the footer box is sitting right up close to the end of this uh, main content box. So what we need to do, we need to push the footer down away from that. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to tell the footer, the footer wrap, we're going to tell it the margin top. We're going to tell it to have about, say, 20 pixels, which will kick it off away from the main content. So if we go back to the style sheet, so for the footer wrap, we're going to say margin top. If we say 20 pixels, now if we go back to our master page, you can now see it's now kicked it off 20 pixels. Um, but I think it's a bit, we need a bit more than that for the actual design. So we'll just say 50 pixels for now and go back to the master page. And as you can see now, we have quite a big gap there in between, which is what we want. So the next thing we need to do, we need to add the one pixel thin border on the top of the footer wrap div. Now, I don't actually know the code offhand, so if we go back to Photoshop, so if we just zoom into the footer, if we're going quite away, like that, and if we grab our eyedropper tool, and if we click on the one pixel border, and if we go to our palette down here, we can now see that that color it's picked is 4A, 4A, 4A. So if we just go back over to Visual Web Developer and we go to the style sheet and we're going to say border top, it's only the top border we want to affect, we're going to say one pixel, it's going to be a solid line and the colour is going to be 4A, 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 4A and then we're going to close that off, save that, go back to our master page. Obviously, we can't see the line just yet. We need to preview this in the browser. So if we click on the green uh, arrow to start debugging. So if we just move down the page, you can now see we have this space here for the footer and we've got the one pixel line on the very top. Obviously, the footer doesn't have the darker wood effect yet. But what we're going to do, we're going to go over to Photoshop and create another image um, to get, make that wood darker. So if we just go to Photoshop, So if we just create a new page, so file, new, and again, just leave it as the same dimensions. So now we've got the new canvas, we need to change the background color to black. So I'm going to click the top palette and just drag all the way to the bottom left hand corner, click OK. And then I'm going to press Alt and Backspace to fill it with black. So now we've got it all black. What we need to do, we need to double click on the padlock to unlock the background layer, which now allows us to change the fill um, opacity so we're going to, again we're going to come in here and we're going to say 10% and we're going to slice out a portion 
just like that. Just like we did last time with the, the white. And again, we're going to do file, save for web and devices. Uh, make sure PNG24 is selected. Click on save. And then we're going to call this footer BG. And then hit save. So if we just go back to Visual Web Developer. So we just need to go to the style sheet now. And we're going to say here, we're going to say, in fact, if I move up the page so you can see this. I'm going to say background image. I'm going to say URL, two brackets, close it off. And then we're going to say, go back a folder, into the images folder, select footer bg.png, save that. And if you just open up your browser, and if you hit the refresh key, so you can see the wood has gone a bit darker, but we need to bring up the opacity a bit more. So if we just jump back over to Photoshop, and then in the fill down here, we'll say 20% instead. And then the same process, file, save for the web, click on save, and then select the footer, BG, click save. And then you want to say yes to replace the image. So now what we need to do, if we just open back up the, the browser and hit refresh, you can now see that's gradually getting darker, but I think it still needs to be a bit darker. So we'll go back to Photoshop and we're going to say 30% this time. And then file, save for the web, save, overwrite the footer, click replace. And if we just preview that one more time in the browser, and there you go. You can now see that's now a lot darker than it was the first time. If we just look in the Photoshop design, if we just zoom out. So here's, this is the color of the Photoshop document. And if we check our one out, I would say that's pretty close, maybe a tad bit darker. So we'll just do it one more time. So into the Photoshop document here. So what we'll do, we'll make, we'll make this 40. And if we do file, save for the web, and then just replace that. And if we just preview that one more time, and there we go. I think that looks looking quite nice now. So we've now got the footer div in place. We've got the pix one pixel line on the top, and we've made the wood darker for the background. We just need to go back into Visual Web Developer. So now we've made the footer wrap, we need to make the footer content in the middle. So if we just go to the master page and go to the source. So inside of the footer wrap, we now need to create another div. So div ID, and we're going to call this footer content. So this is where we're going to store all the footer content information. So we can create our comment as usual. Okay, so we need to style this footer content like so. Go to the style sheet. So the width for this is going to be 850 pixels, the same as what we used previously. The height, again, I'm just going to put this in just so we can see it taking shape. We'll change all these back to auto later. And then, so we've got the width and height. So if we just preview that in the master page, you can see here's our, here's our footer content box, but we've got a slight problem. It's not actually being centered in the middle of the page like the main content box up here and the header. So again, that's quite easy to fix. Go to the style sheet and we're going to say margin zero auto. And that is it. That's going to center it now in the page. So if we go back, you can now see that is in the middle of the page, the same as everything else. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here for now and try and create some more videos as soon as I can. Um, so please leave any comments, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.